game. to meet a real movie star. He's so handsome! Wally the Wonder Cat is the man of my dreams. What about Heathcliff? Heathcliff is... is too immature for me. Hey, you two! Come back here! No, wait! Don't touch those cans! <laughs> he should take his own advice. <laughs> your name? Sonia. Sonia. That is a beautiful name. Tell me, Sonia, do you have a boyfriend? I, uh, I, uh, no, I don't. I mean, he's, uh, just a local guy. Not very mature. Kind of boring. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes! Oh, Asparagus, <laughs> shaving cream, <laughs> cat. Na 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 na. How would you like to come to the movie set where I am shooting my new epic, Cat Monsters from Outer Space? Oh, I'd just love to. That's great. You know, Sonia, you're the kind of girl a, a guy could get really serious about. Oh, Wally. Huh? Now, you're sure you're not spoken for? Sonia! Oh! Is this your, uh, boyfriend, Sonia? Sonia? Who is this creep? He's not a creep. He's a movie star. So, he's a movie star creep. <laughs> I say, aren't you a little rascal? Quiet, pretty boy, or I'll give you another nose job. Heathcliff, now stop that. Heathcliff, this is Wally the Wonder Cat. I don't care if he's Freddy the Frisky Feline. You're my girl, and you shouldn't be hanging out with him. Well, maybe I'm not your girl anymore. Maybe it's time I start seeing a mature cat. A mature cat? Well, what do you mean, I'm mature? Ask anybody. Anybody says I'm not mature, and I'll clobber them. She wants mature, I'll give her mature. 
If she thinks that wearing flashy clothes like Wally the Wonder Wimp makes a guy mature, I'll show her that I can look like that, too. Pipe down. Mature, huh? Mature's my middle name. Heath Mature Cliff. Mature. Huh. Look up mature in the dictionary, and it says C. Heathcliff. Now that's what I call a rug. One mature feline coming up. There's no escaping the fact that I'm one handsome cat. It's the cat monster from outer space. We're done for. If only Wally the Wonder Cat was here. Meow. Wow. Yeah. Cat, cat, cat. Beautiful, Wally baby. Beautiful. Okay, everybody. That's it for today. Thank you. You're sitting in my chair, Sonia. I I'm sorry, Wally. C can I get you anything? Why don't you run and get me a caviar sandwich? Of course, Wally. And Wally, I think you're wonderful. You have excellent taste, Sonia. Hiya, babe. Who are you? I'm just a mature kind of guy, and you happen to catch my eye. You're kind of cute. Well, that's what they tell me. Hey, Heathcliff, who does your hair, Lady <laughs> Godiva? Heathcliff, is that you? Heathcliff, don't fight. It's... it's immature. I won't fight him. I'll just chase him. But what happens if you catch them? <laughs> he's not only immature, he's impossible. <gasps> uh oh. <laughs> I may not be a rich movie star, but with a little help from Gruesome here, I can still get Sonya some mature gifts. You've got a lot of potential. Uh, stick with me, kid, and I'll make you a star. Whoa! <laughs> I like your style. Hi, Heathcliff. What are you doing here? I got you a couple of nice gifts. That's very sweet of you, Heathcliff. But Wally just got me this. A fishing boat? Uh, well, uh, 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 I also got you this. Milk? Well, gee, Heathcliff, Wally already got me that. So you see, I don't really need any milk. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. Okay, Wally baby. In this scene, a monster attacks you, and your ray gun fails. So you beat it up with your paws. Cameras rolling. Action! What's wrong with this thing? Oh, 
I've never met a cat that's not a sucker for a ball of yawn. <laughs> oh, Heathcliff, when that terrible cat monster attacked us, Wally acted like such a baby while you were so, so mature. That's my middle name. Hmm, you never know when this'll come in handy. <laughs> Ah, isn't this the life? <gasps> Enjoy yourself while you can, Mr. Riff Raff. Soon as I devise a plan, even you will be working for me. Claude! The Disguiser! Ah! Oh, what's the use? We're almost out of mood juice. Uh, hi. I got some milk, Riff Raff. Your plan worked real good. Like, uh, <laughs> like, uh, Grease Thunder. Natch, as a reward for a job well done, you can have all the empties for your collection. Gee, thanks, Rip. You're a real pal. I found this bottle in the yard. A gift with my regard. I'm going to put it with the others right now. Yeah, who? Who are you? <laughs> Just call me Harry with the light brown jeans. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Simply by rubbing that bottle, you've summoned me and will be granted three wishes. No fooling. Just by saying the words I wish and then telling me what it is you want. What's the matter? Cat got your tongue? Uh, well, uh, I wish my head didn't hurt. Hmm, that's one. <laughs> wow. Okay, so now I wish my feet... <laughs> Whoa, -ho -ho there, fella. I don't think you're getting the big picture here. You don't want to waste your wishes, do you? Ah, uh ah. -huh. Uh -huh. Then don't be so wishy-washy. Think big. You can have anything in the whole world. Just use your imagination. <laughs> what a waste. Yeah, I wish I could think of something. I thought of something. That's two. Look, my head's starting to hurt. Yeah, it must be going around. Why don't I get back to you after you've thought about it for a while? There's no hurry, like maybe a thousand years. Talk it over with your friends, but don't tell them about me. When you want me, just rub three times. <laughs> but don't rub me the wrong way. Okay, okay. It is now clear to me that the junkyard is small potatoes. When I get my paws in that bottle, the world will be my oyster. Hi, fellas. I was just thinking. Thinking? I've been working you too hard. Take the rest of the day off. Gee, thanks. What I was thinking was, if you could have anything in the whole world, what would you wish for? Since you're asking, for starters, a ton of fresh fish, and then... Oh, no! Do -do -do -do, do -do -do -do. Now, where did I put it? Oh, yeah. Here it is. Yoo-hoo! Harry! Anybody home? 
What's the matter? You stuck? <laughs> yeah, hi, Harry. Turn it over, please. Does your head still hurt? It was starting to go away. So, is there anything on or in your mind? Wish away. Yeah, I wish I had a ton of fresh fish. And so, your last wish is a ton of fresh fish. Oh, hi, guys. This is Harry. He'll grant me one wish for anything I want. Mm, I told you not to tell them. Oh, yeah. I forgot. Well, since we're all friends now, how about granting me a wish or 12? <laughs> Mm-mm, that's against the rules. He's my only master. For one more wish. This time, no one can stop me. Yeah, I'm really confused. <laughs> I'll bet it's the very first time. I wish I knew what to... Mustn't waste my only wish. Uh, who said it was yours? Well, two's company and five's a bore. Let me know what you decide. Where'd the bottle go? Hey, look. The garbage is taking Harry out. I don't think it's trash that's making the dash. That's Claude the Disguiser. Quick, follow that cat! <laughs> Oh, no! Go, go, go! I, I, I wish to rule the world! Hey, what gives? I said I wish! I can only have one master at a time. And right now, Mungo is him. I don't feel so good. Put a cork in it, Harry. Come on, you can do it. Here, here. I can just get out of here with this genie. My dreams will come true. Hey, check it out. Where is he? Where's Harry? You gotta tell me. Yeah, I sure wish I knew. <laughs> That's three wishes, and you're out. Now it's my turn. Mm, guess again, sardine breath. After 2,000 years and 6,000 wishes, without a weekend off, I'm taking a vacation. I'm tired of being bottled up. And what about my wishes? Hardy har har. Why don't you disguise yourself as a rock Go jump in the lake. What if I rubbed your bottle? Then you would be my master. But first you gotta find me. <laughs> Aloha. Yeah, I'm sorry I blew the last wish, fellas. Well, as long as we're here, we may as well have some milk. So long, Mungo. Yeah, 
Have a nice vacation, Harry. May all your wishes come true. <laughs> You, Harry! Come out, come out, wherever you are. I know you're in here somewhere. Now, I probably dislike dogs more than anyone you know, but even I wouldn't leave a dog out unprotected in weather like this. I'll just leave him out there until he understands how his dog must have felt in this weather. It worked! He realizes the pets need to be protected from bad weather, too. If your pet has to stay outside in bad weather, make sure you have some kind of shelter for him. He'll be happier and healthier if you do. Yeah.